Begin by establishing comfort in your body. Pick a position that feels comfortable for you. Any position will do. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. In any case, allow your body to get comfortable. And as you settle into this posture, notice that comfort. Notice, for example, what it's like to be supported by the ground. Notice your body sinking into that. There's a kind of comfort there. Notice that and really enjoy it. Notice as well whether there's any muscular tension that's present in your body, anywhere that your muscles are tight or holding tension. Notice that and gently invite them to relax, to let go of that tension. This is a technical skill in meditation, noticing muscular tension and inviting that to relax as many times as you need to. Relax your body. And again, notice if there's any enjoyment associated with that relaxation, any pleasure or relief. Notice that and allow yourself to be fulfilled, satisfied by that relaxation. if you'd like, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a gentle, easy smile. And again, if there's any pleasure or joy that comes from that, allow yourself to savor that. I've taken the time to establish comfort in the body, to relax, and to bring a smile to your face. If at any time those qualities fade, if you become uncomfortable or tight, or you notice that your smile has vanished, you can reestablish those qualities. You can return to this place. It's a kind of home base for metta practice. Being comfortable and relaxed, with a smile on the face. It's how we prepare the body for metta practice. Now we can take some time to prepare the mind as well. 
Consider in your mind things that you're grateful for. Whatever it is that you are grateful for. It varies, of course. But consider what resonates for you. And say these things in your mind. I feel grateful for my friends. I feel grateful for the warmth of the sun. I feel grateful for beautiful, uplifting words. Whatever it is that works for you, consider and reflect on these things and tell yourself about them. Say them in your mind. I feel grateful for this and I feel grateful for that. And if perhaps your smile widens or there's warmth in your heart from considering what you're grateful for, really savor that. Feel the gratitude. Allow yourself to be nourished by these feelings. Let that prepare the ground in your mind and body for practice. Very good. Now, bring to mind your easy to love person or animal. Someone in your life or your imagination that's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Whoever that is for you. Could be a small child or a pet, a friend or family member, even a favorite character in a movie or story. Bring them to mind. In particular, visualize them in your mind's eye, being happy, because you're wishing that for them. If it helps, you can say a phrase in your mind's eye, in your mind, like, may you be happy, or I love you, or I care about you, or I'm so grateful for your friendship, anything you like, really. Whether you use images or talk or both, the main idea is to wish them well. Cultivate love and goodwill for this person or animal.
Stay with that for another moment. Wishing this person or animal well. Very good. Now we're going to turn our attention to mudita, sympathetic joy. Reflect on the different people in your life and any successes or happinesses that they may have had recently. Perhaps you know someone who's started a new job or a new relationship. Someone who's just had a child. Perhaps someone's finished something that's very important to them, a project they've been working on for a long time. Perhaps someone's just happy for no reason at all. Reflect on the people in your life and any joys that they might be experiencing. See if you can find someone to work with to start. A specific person and a specific joy that they're having. Situation that they're going through that's bringing them happiness. We're all always having difficulties and successes, various kinds. So use your creativity to find someone in your life that's having some kind of happiness. And once you've picked someone, imagine what it's like to be them experiencing this situation. Consider what it'd be like to be in their shoes, facing their circumstances. You could literally imagine what it's like to be in their body from their perspective, experiencing that situation. Or you could narrate in your mind what it's like to be them. Oh, I think they're going through this and they might feel that. You could even imagine a similar situation that you've been and recall how that made you feel and apply that to their situation. Lots of ways to do this. The main idea is to get a sense of what it might be like to be them. What would it be like to experience this situation, this joy, this happiness, if you were them?
And again, as you do this, notice if there's any joy that arises for you, thinking about their experience. Any feelings in your body of joy? You're not in their situation, but you can still feel happy for them. You can feel the sympathetic joy, being happy that they're happy. riding the waves of their happiness into your own happiness. These feelings may or may not arise, but if they do, really enjoy them in the same way that we've been enjoying all the other positive qualities. Really savor them. The basic strategy is to consider someone that's going through some kind of happiness and to creatively imagine what it might be like to be them, get a sense of their situation, and then to feel any feelings of sympathetic joy that arise for you, Udita. If you'd like, you can work with the same person for a long time, someone that's particularly resonant for you, that you can connect to their happiness. Or you can move through many different people, considering all the different circumstances that might bring someone happiness and briefly feeling each kind of happiness. You get to decide how many people you work with and at what pace. In any case, use this as an opportunity to cultivate sympathetic joy, feeling happiness for others.
there are many varieties of positive emotions that might arise as we cultivate sympathetic joy. Warmth, happiness, pride, confidence, excitement. There's a whole color palette of positive emotions that are available to us with these practices. You can use this as an opportunity to explore that. Perhaps, for example, considering someone who just got married brings out one emotion. Whereas considering someone who had a new child might bring out a different feeling. Subtle differences. Perhaps that's, once again, a different feeling than what you feel when you consider your friend that recently got a promotion or who seems to just be happier than they were a few months ago. Lots of different occasions for sympathetic joy and many different feelings that can arise as we consider these situations that the people we know are in. Allow yourself to explore the subtle differences between these kinds of happinesses. Whatever flavors of sympathetic joy are available, whatever positive emotions arise, notice them and really enjoy them. To do this practice, consider the people in your life, your circumstances, and focus on any circumstances of joy or happiness. Imagine what it's like to be them and feel any feelings of joy or happiness, well-wishing that arise, considering their circumstances.
Very good. Now, take a moment to look back on this practice period. Reflect on what happened for you, what your experience was like. Did you learn anything new? Did you face any challenges? Take a moment to consider and reflect. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <clears throat> 